Hey, what's up? It's Deanna, and these type of unboxings get me nervous. And so this is an eBay antique unboxing, and uh, I'm filming this just in case it's broken. So as you can see, look at this. We took impact, and uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so when I bought this on eBay, um, I took the label off right now just because I don't want anyone getting my address, but um, I saved the label. But um, yeah, when you see something like this, this is quite scary. Um, quite frightening and I did ask the seller um, after I did the buy it now if she can do me a favor and if she could pack this and I described how to pack this correctly because I said if this takes impact the glass will shatter and I explained to her it needs several inches on all sides of the item in order to be safe um, and she said don't jinx it she said, I'm putting it in a flat rate box because otherwise I'll have to charge you a lot more money to ship it. And I said, I don't care. I'll pay you extra. I'll pay you uh, through PayPal for all the extra packing materials and for a bigger box. And she said, let's not jinx it at this point. I put a few pieces of bubble wrap on it. It'll be okay. And I was like, Ugh. and I'm non-confrontational. I don't like to fight with people. She was very nice. She constantly got back and forth to me about this issue. And so I don't want to stab my seller in the heart right now and say she's bad or this and that. But this is quite scary. So let's get it open and make sure it's okay. When you're packing fragile antiques, um, the rule of the game is to actually place it in a box several inches, at least a minimum of three to four inches. So if the item is in there, you need three inches on all sides, top, bottom, and sides filled with padding and you're supposed to wrap the item in multiple multiple layers of bubble wrap otherwise because the um mailman or the delivery people will throw the box or something like this will happen and it'll turn into an accordion and so i'm very nervous right now so let's just see let's just pray to god um i did like i said i did try to convince the seller that this wasn't a good enough packing she just described to me that she was going to do it this way and I tried to pay her more money I would have given her another 30 40 dollars to actually pack this correctly so let's just pray to God she said she put air pillows in there air pillows are not a good idea by the way for fragile things they pop and uh, the air comes out of them and they get pretty flaccid like a flaccid penis yeah I'm sorry <laughs> and so on one side there was air pillows and on this side, none. So if this thing is not damaged, it'll be a Christmas miracle. All right. So far, I don't hear any jiggling. And that's a good sign. Now, I hate to sound like, a, you know, like a real pain in the ass or an eccentric person. But I am. And I can't help myself. And, uh, you know, this is why I used to get stressed when I used to sell antiques on Etsy. Because when I sold my things, most of them were fragile. I would be shitting my pants about packing them. I would spend at least 40 minutes, in some cases, packing my item before it was uh, boxed up. Um, that's how, you know, thorough I am or was as a seller. And, oh God, all right, let's just hope to God above, if there is one, <laughs> that this is okay. And so far, I do not hear any damage because you usually hear the damage you'll hear rattling and uh let's get this baby open okay please please god please this is the one thing i wanted the most that of all the stuff i recently ordered on ebay and guess what we are okay all right so i can tell right off the bat somebody did a repair on this well i mean the piece of glass that attaches to the hinge um, was glued down with some kind of silicone. So you can see this white stuff going along there. I wish they didn't. I wonder if there's a way to undo that where I could use clear, uh, clear glue. But um, yeah, and the key that it came with, this one, um, she said it didn't work at all. It does not actually belong to this. So I'm trying other keys that I have in my collection um, to try to get it to uh, fit into this box. But let me just show you what this is first. All right, so what it is is an antique Baccarat cut crystal casket with Dory bronze mounts. <laughs> so at $995 uh, value, now you know why I was freaking out a bit. Okay, so um, 
yeah, here we go. So this one is a little different than mine. Mine is much bigger, actually. This is a smaller version. So as you can tell, this is why I was on the nervous side um, when I was worried about packing. So something like this is probably between worth between a thousand to one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. All right. So here it is. Look at it. Okay, I found another key. It still doesn't work, but the other one was way too short for it. So this one just uh, at least sticks in there. But uh, look at this, and this is heavy. This is about five to six pounds of crystal. And so you can see all the cut, the uh, cut work in it. Let me just turn it around. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Baccarat. Now I spied this. Um, I spied this for $70. I had to buy it now actually for $69 with $17 shipping. And uh, as you can see, these are not cheap. Um, I really scored uh, bigly <laughs> on this one. Let me just turn it around totally. Struggling to hold this thing up. That's how heavy it is. Whoa, look at that. That's one big solid um, hunk of crystal. And wow, just absolutely wow. Um, you do not get this lucky. Now somebody had just, the lady just listed it and uh, somebody was going to find this immediately. People that know antique Baccarat glass was definitely, definitely going to find this. So I knew I had to move quick and hit that buy it now. She even had to make an offer on the listing. I didn't even bother. I was like, hell, hell no, because somebody, by the time I make the offer, wait for her reply, somebody is going to swoop in here and steal this right out from under my nose. Because anyone with a brain, you know, that collects antiques will know this is antique Baccarat glass, especially with it so thick. Look at that. And uh, yeah, this is just pure crystal. Look at that. Holy cow. Now about age, I'm not sure exactly when this was made. My guess is from about the 1890s to about early 1900s, probably about 1910, 1915. It could be older. Um, you have this very old pat pat uh, patinated lock, attrition, attrition, <laughs> can never say that right. And the uh, metal going around it is patinated. So you can see that it has age to it. But again, look at the cut crystal on this. I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. Now, I wish somebody didn't use silicone to uh, glue this back in. It happens, um, you know, like these things uh, come loose. But somebody used white silicone, and that was not a smart move. If they would have used uh, some kind of clear, you know, glue, it would have been a much better repair. I might be able to undo it and then just use clear uh, glue. But look at that. Holy guacamole. So now you guys saw how nervous I was. Now you know why I was nervous when I saw that smashed box. And boy, was I a pain in the ass to this poor seller. Now I was very polite and very nice, but I was pleading and I was begging with her to please, please pack it um, a certain way. She sort of like brushed it off and said, hey, I did a great job of packing it, which she did. But um, when you put it in a box like that, that's about the same size as the box, you're asking for trouble, especially you saw how smashed an accordion style that box was. So if you're selling antique glass on the internet, remember that's not a really good way to pack it. You need to have at least three to four inches on all sides, minimum of uh, space where you can put padding in there and you have to like put layers and layers and layers and layers of bubble wrap on something like this because when the boxes get tossed and thrown it's going to take impact and the glass will shatter now I was lucky that this didn't it came all the way from California to New York smashed up in a box like an accordion and it still survived and maybe that's uh, telling us how thick this crystal is that it was able to uh, stand on its own um, that is uh, actually a miracle. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all soon. And this glass casket, antique glass casket, um, is just absolutely stunning. And I was really lucky to get it. So long and see you guys all soon.